Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, and I'm sorry, but today we're in a different setup because I'm going to be taking you through my morning routine, and my morning starts out usually at the sink because we got to get some wake up in this morning, especially. Um, if you're like me and you're sleep deprived, you came to the right spot. So. Thank you for coming, and please leave a like down below, comment what you want to see next, and hit that subscribe button. So the first thing I like to do in my everyday routine is use my face wash. This is the... Pacifica Cactus Revive Milk to Foam Face Wash and it's really gentle on my skin and it smells really good and it's vegan so that's the reason I use it. Um, they actually discontinued this I think. I buy mine from either like TJ Maxx or Amazon so keep that in mind. And I take like this much and then just get it wet and put it on my face. The next thing I use is the e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. I use this like once to twice a week just because my skin is very sensitive. Um, I wouldn't recommend anyone use it every day, so just keep that in mind. I take like that much and then I just put it on my face. Okay, so after the exfoliant, my skin is usually really sensitive, and I like to use my steamer, which for me, it calms down the stinging. Um, that's the steamer I have. Got it off of Amazon for probably like 20 bucks. Um, I like to plug this up sometimes. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but sometimes I'll put like toner in with it um, and do steaming and toning in one. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to plug that in and get it turned on. So after I've steamed my face until I'm done, I usually go in with my serums. Um, here recently I've been using an eyelash serum from Maybo. I don't know how you say that. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And then I will also go in with my cloud cream. It, I use it in place of a serum um, because it's for sensitive skin and mine is very sensitive. So I'm going to do that. So after my serums have been applied, I usually go in with moisturizer. Um, depending on the day, I'll go in with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. If I'm oily that day, if I'm dry, I'll go in with the Mario Badesco Buttermilk Moisturizer. Um, today I am a little bit more on the oily side, so I'm going to go in with the Clinique.
So after moisturizing my face, I go in with this lip scrub. And that lip scrub is the NYX This Is Everything. It comes with a lip balm too, but I'm not a big fan of the balm. And that is my skincare routine. Now we're going to get into my makeup routine for every day. Okay, so now we're going to go through my everyday makeup routine. And... Oh, here it is. And first, I start off with my primer. Today, I'm going with the Poreless Putty Primer. Um, this one's good for, like, everyday, my, like, a go-to primer, I guess. Um, it works with my skin no matter what kind of skin day I'm having. Um, like, if my skin's dry, this works fine. If my skin's oily, this works fine. If my skin's having a good day, this works perfectly. Um, so I just put that in the area where I need primer the most, especially around my nose, those smile lines, and my forehead. And then I go in with my foundation, which varies depending on what I need. But my skin's been doing good recently, so I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir. Um, this is really, really, like, no coverage at all. It's for your like everyday wear when you don't have blemishes so my skin right now um I just take like a drop of that on the forehead and I'll blend it out this color is a little bit dark for me but like I said since it's not so full coverage you can work with it and also I like with trial and error, I've found that if you have foundation on, the rest of your makeup just lays the right way. Um, like, it's hard to put powders on, like, blush and bronzer and stuff without something to lay it on, I guess. So, I always wear foundation, even if it's just like this, where there's minimal coverage. Yeah, this does hardly nothing for my skin. But I really like it. Also, you're definitely not supposed to apply it like that for hygiene reasons. But I do it anyway, so. Oopsies. It's more fun that way for me. Okay, so once I have that all blended in and I have an even complexion, which is what I was going for, I usually go in with a liquid concealer, but I think today I'm going to go in with a cream concealer. So, and conceal my camera stopped recording for some reason. Um, now I'm going into this cream palette and I'm going to contour with it today. And with creams, I always go in with a beauty blender. Like, a brush never works for me. So, I'm going to mix this light color with that dark color and get a color that I think will be good for my skin. And I'm using the mirror behind my phone to see where I'm putting this down. And once I have it down, I will just blend it in as much as I can. I think I'll leave it like that today. I'm going for a more natural look, so I don't want the contour to be too heavy. So 
So once I have that done, I think I'm going to go ahead and powder my face. Um, I'm going to go in with a new powder today just to see how it works. It's the CoverGirl Clean Professional. It smells a lot like Cody Airspun. And I'm using the little puff that comes with it. Sometimes the puffs suck, and then other times the puffs are really good. So I like to give them a fair chance. And so far, I'm really liking this powder, you guys. Definitely go light-handed with it, because this puff picks up a lot. It has, like, little hair-like fibers. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's picking up a lot of powder, which is okay. Um, I think for my full coverage days, this powder is going to be amazing. Like, look at the difference here and then up there. Like, you can see. Okay, so I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer. Um, this will always be my So, now that I've gone ahead and bronzed, I'm going to take my blush and... I usually like to go in really heavy with my blush, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put it on our cheeks, mostly in the very front, on the nose, and the chin, forehead, really just blush up the whole face. And then after you're done, if it was too much, now for me, I could leave it like this and it would be fine, but... You take a powder brush or like whatever else you used to powder that day, take some off, and then everything's alright. So, um, I'm also now going to take the same blush and I'm going to take, where did that brush go? Oh, here it is. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This one's stained all to pieces, but it's clean. Um, I'm going to dip it into my blush and put it on my eye. Usually when I don't want to do eyeshadow, I will just do blush and bronzer on my eye and then call it a day. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to put it under our eyes too. I got this technique from um, Doja Cat and her Vogue interview. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's really good. You should go check it out. And then, under my lip, above my lip, and we're done. So, that's all there is for blush. I'm going to spray down my face with some setting spray. I'm going to be using the Do You by Tarte. No, not Tarte. Too Faced. Um, this one smells really good, so... So once I have completely soaked my face, I like to pat it in with my fingers and make sure that all of that powder is just settled in very well. And then I'll take my big powder brush, run it over my face with the leftover powder to make sure that we're still staying matte. Um, I have to make sure that my skin is matte before it turns dewy because my skin is oily. So like... If you have oily skin and your makeup starts out matte, it will end up a big mess. So, that's what I have to do. Um, now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. What shade is this? Blossom Glow. I really like this highlighter, guys. It's so good. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a dome-shaped brush today. Because I want an intense highlight. If I don't want intense, I'll use a fan brush. Like one of the thin ones. But today we're going for intense. So, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that area. And I really like to go crazy with the highlighter. Maybe not that crazy, but I love to go crazy with highlighter. So, 
so now we're almost finished. I went ahead and added mascara. I'm going to take a ColourPop lip pencil in the shade Parker. I'm going to add that to the center of my lips. And it's okay, you can be messy with it because we're going to blend it out with our fingers. So now that we have the lipstick on, we're going to add a clear gloss. And this is the final look, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Again, leave your suggestions down below. And this is the finished look. Bye, you guys. Stay kind.